Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, we're going to talk about the theory of star delta transformation and few of the solved examples related to it. So let's get started. So star delta transformation was invented by a scientist called as Arthur Kenley. So uh, let's see what is star connection, what is delta connection. Later on, let's see how uh, we can transform them from one form to another. So uh, three resistances are said to be connected in star if one end of it are, is connected to a common point. So uh, then it is said to be star connected um, and one of uh, the easiest way to remember it is uh, it is an inverted Y. So it as a, re resembles like an inverted Y. So uh, that is a very important observation with respect to uh, star configuration. So what is delta con configuration? If each of the resistance is connected between the other two resistances, then that is said to be in delta. Or in other words, you can also remember the symbol of delta. It exactly appears in that way. So this is delta connection. So how do we transform star to delta? There are certain equations that can be done. Uh, we are not going to the derivation. We are only going to see the basic equation that can transform star to delta and delta to star. Let us have a figure that has uh, both star and delta within it so that uh, it will be easy for us to apply the formula over here and have a common relation as how the formula can be used uh, and how how not to remember them or memorizing them in particular so star to delta resistor r1 so we are converting star to delta that is ra is converted as r1 rb is converted as r2 and R rc is con converted as r3 so ra is to be converted as r1 so we'll have to write the formula for r1 so what is the formula for r1 r1 is written as ra rb r plus rb rc plus rc ra ra rb rb rc rc ra whole divided by since we are writing it for r1 so the resistance opposite to r1 in this case is ra over here so we'll be writing the denominator as ra similarly for r2 you can write the numerator term will remain the same for star to delta transformation so you can write it uh, the same with respect to the denominator part you're transforming uh, star to delta with respect to r2 isn't it so r2 the resistance opposite from r2 if you're looking r2 in this direction the opposite resistance for r2 is rb so the denom denominator term will be rb similarly we can write it for r3 as well the numerator terms remains the same the denominator term will exactly be opposite to the resistance r3 so resistance r3 opposite resistance is rc so we'll be writing rc so this is the way we have to remember star to delta transformation so uh, similarly there is another relation with respect to delta to star so with respect to ra so we are converting r1 to ra in this case r2 to rb in this case and r3 to rc in this case so from delta to star so with respect to it uh, we are writing it for ra so the numerator term is nothing but the resistance opposite to ra and rb that is the resistance opposite to, to uh, adjacent to RA and RB is uh, so it's not opposite it's adjacent so resistance adjacent to RA and RB is R3 and R2 so we'll be multiplying R2 R3 and the denominator will be the sum of the all the other three resistances R1 R2 R3 in this uh, delta to star conversion the denominator term will always remain common however with respect to the numerator term with respect to RB if you're writing now uh, the adjacent branches with respect to RB is R3 and R1 so numerator will be R3 into R1 whole divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 similarly RC can be written as R2 into R1 the adjacent branches are R2 into R1 whole divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is how we'll write the formula in star to delta remember one important concept the numerator term will remain the same in delta to star the denominator term will remain the same however with respect to star to delta the resistance of opposite branch should be considered for the denominator for delta to star for the numerator the adjacent branches should be considered so once we have a clear picture of how to transform star to delta and delta to star let's see three important problems it uh, involves three different ideas and ideologies behind starting those three problems once you uh, are uh, clearly aware of those three different problems you will definitely be able to solve any number of problems with respect to star delta transformation so let's see uh, our first example so this is the given network and they have told us to find the equivalent resistance from a to b um, 
so how do we start off uh, looking at these circuits so our first step is to convert delta to star we'll be looking at the circuit observe for some time take your time and uh, see uh, how to simplify these type of networks you can clearly see uh, there is a delta at this position and delta at this position isn't it so we have to convert both of them to star and one more common observation is all of these values are same 4.5 4.5 7.5 7.5 and 3 ohm and 3 ohm so uh, we'll be applying the formula for converting star to delta i'll i'll be naming it as r1 r3 r2 and then uh, r5 r4 r5 and r6 in this case now uh, with respect to this i'll be applying the formula that is discussed in our previous uh, slide so r1 is equal to r6 so both these values are same because the effective values of all these combinations are the same so 4.5 into 7.5 r1 and r6 isn't it so 4.5 and 7.5 the adjacent resistance with respect to r1 is 4.5 and 7.5 whole divided by sum of all the three other resistances similarly we can write it for r2 r2 is equal to r5 is equal to 7.5 into 3 that is the adjacent resistance here is 7.5 and 3 we did divided by the common uh, denominator term similarly r3 equal to r4 that can be written as 4.5 into 7 4.5 into 3 whole divided by the denominator terms that is here 4.5 plus 7.5 plus 3 so once we have this we can so uh, the simplification of the previous network resembles something like this so uh, uh, please do watch out for our videos with respect to uh, problems related to series and parallel combination that will give you a clear idea as how to solve a resistance connected in series and parallel i'll be uh, sharing the video uh, link in the description please do watch it in case you have missed it out so uh, in this case uh, you see 5.8 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel so uh, we can uh, use uh, the parallel combination formula rp is equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 you will be getting 2.95 some all of these resistors are connected in series add them out if they are connected in series you will be getting 7.45 ohms so the effective value of resistance ab is 7.45 ohms in this case so uh, we'll see another problem which uh, looks much different uh, it requires a different uh, analogy altogether so a problem uh, is given as to find the effective value of resistance across ab so how do we approach these type of problems so try to redraw the figure in such a way that it looks uh, good for you to start off with so in this case what is being done is um, i've rearranged it in a form of a bridge if you see all of these resistance are same uh, so most of the cases if they are same it resembles like a bridge because uh, you uh, have something called as balanced bridge configuration and unbalanced bridge configuration with respect to measurements so uh, have a co common analysis of uh, writing down the circuit in this manner that is from a to c if you observe there is a 10 ohm resistor connected i have written 10 ohm and from a to d if you see there is a 10 ohm resistor connected i have written that again from c to d there is a 10 ohm resistor connected i have written it that so again from c to uh, b there is another uh, uh, 10 ohm resistor connected if you observe it carefully this is the 10 ohm resistor connected and uh, finally uh, between b to uh, b to d there is another 10 ohm resistor connected so once you have uh, come to this point uh, you will be able to uh, pick like pictorically understand how this can be further simplified isn't it so there, this is a delta connected network or this can be a delta connected network for either one of them you can apply a delta to star conversion either for this one or for this one so uh, i will be applying uh, delta to star connection uh, transformation for a c d so how do we do that uh, we will be uh, representing it as r1 r2 r3 i will be re renaming it because delta to be converted into star i'll be applying the formula that is discussed in our previous uh, slide that is r1 equal to r2 equal to r3 all these values are same uh, because all the values in this uh, branches are same so we don't have to find it separately 10 into 10 whole divided by 10 plus 10 plus 10 so we'll be getting 10 by 10 by 3 so one of the most important observation to make with respect to uh, this one is that whenever uh, resistors are connected uh, in in delta and it is supposed to be transformed into star so from delta to star if you're supposed to if you're doing it 
and all the resistance value are same as 10 ohms then the effective uh, value in star combination is you can simply get it by dividing it by 3 that is each of these values will be 10 by 3 if there are 20 ohm resistors connected in delta in this form 20 by 3 you will be getting each of the values in star that is the observation that is supposed to be made so what ha what happens is that it simply reduces your time in competitive examinations which is very important so uh, be very careful with this observation uh, remember this uh, observation it plays a vital role in solving problems as quick as possible so once this is done we will further uh, redraw it uh, 10 by 3 is the resistance value I'll, I'll be writing it over here so what can be done in the next step you can see over here 10 by 3 and 10 ohm are connected in series again 10 by 3 and 10 ohm are connected in series because they're connected end to end uh, so that's called a series combination uh, in case you have missed out the theory of series combination you can do uh, watch it uh, that is discussed in one of our previous videos the link will be in the description so uh, once that is done we can uh, apply the form over here and get the value as 40 by 3 uh, just adding 10 by 3 and 10 you'll be getting 40 by 3 um, again uh, simplifying redrawing the network we'll be getting 40 by 3 and 40 by 3 parallel now our uh, role is to uh, reduce this network further so these two are connected in parallel one important observation which we made with respect to solving parallel combination problem is when two resistors of same value are connected in parallel the effective value will be half of the actual values that means the effective value will be 20 by 3 isn't it so 20 by 3 will be written over here and it's connected in series with 10 by 3 uh, this observation uh, was discussed in our previous video please do watch it so uh, this network can be further simplified as uh, 10 ohm because these two values are connected in series you'll be getting 30 by 6 uh, 10 by 3 plus 20 by 3 uh, like simplifying this you'll be getting 30 by 3 30 by 3 is equal to 10 ohm so effective value of resistance RAB will be 10 ohm so uh, this is a great example of uh, solving this type of problem it's very different so uh, please do practice a lot on this type we'll be seeing one more problem which is uh, slightly different than what is being discussed so far uh, so uh, with respect to this problem it looks very complicated but it's very simple uh, trust me how how do we approach these type of problems so they have asked us to find uh, the effective resistance between terminals a and b isn't it so uh, first up you have to observe which which are connected in series from this terminal a and b don't touch those terminals where you have to find the effective resistances that is the first step so in this case uh, at this point 2 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series 11 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series so we will observe what is connected in series at the first place or parallel if suppose it can be simplified but in this case you can clearly see these are connected in series so you can simply add them up so you will be getting 15 ohms at this position and 6 ohms at this position I have redrawn the network now if you see there are two delta networks delta connected uh, resistors in this case so over here and over here we'll be simplifying them all of them are of same value previous observation should be uh, made a note of when three values uh, of res delta uh, resistors are same you can write the effective value with respect to individual star resistors as divided by three so 6 by 3 will give you 2 so 2 ohms is the equivalent star transformation similarly with respect to 15 15 by 3 will be 5 so you can directly write the equivalent network in this in this way so this simplifies uh, uh, and uh, it, it saves a lot of time with respect to the problem that is to be solved so now you have this network once redrawing you'll be getting this in this network uh, I'll be showing it out uh, in this way so this is uh, our previous uh, slide which contains the resistance uh, effective value of uh, the circuit that is there so in this case uh, 2 ohm 41 ohm 5 ohm are connected in series so it's e equivalent to 48 ohms again 2 ohm 17 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in series effective value is 24 ohms that is adding them up you'll be getting this so next step is these two resistances are connected in parallel 24 ohm and 48 ohm so 24 into 48 divided by 24 plus 48 you will be getting effective value as 16 ohm I'll be writing that now 2 ohms 16 ohms 5 ohms all are connected in series so the effective value will be 23 ohms the effective value of resistance from the terminals a and b will be equal to 23 ohms as simple as it looks like so solve a lot of different problems in case you have any questions with respect to this please feel free to reach out to me uh, if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video